Here again is the third ventricle. The third ventricle is confluent with the fourth ventricle, which is down here, by means of the cerebral aqueduct. So this is a passageway by which fluid that is secreted here can then pass to the fourth ventricle, and it does pass in that direction. This aqueduct is, has a number of names. It has been originally called the aqueduct of Silvius, but it is now also simply known as the cerebral aqueduct or the aqueduct of the midbrain. So let's zoom in on the midbrain. In the posterior side of the midbrain, or you could think of it also as the roof of the midbrain, you have some important structures. This, as since this is the roof of the midbrain right over here, this is referred to as the tectum. The word tectum simply means roof. And on the tectum, there are four spherical bulges, which are referred to as colliculi. All four together are known as the corpora quadrigemina, which simply means the four twin bodies. There are two, and you only see one of them on one side right over here, that are located in a superior position. And those are referred to as the superior colliculi. So the word colliculi means little hill. So these little bulges here are the superior colliculi. And right below them, right over here, you have the, one of the inferior colliculi. This is the floor of the midbrain, and it contains important nuclei like the substantia nigra and the red nucleus. And the interpeduncular fossa is actually not a solid structure, but a recess, which would be right over here. Uh, so you see it as a recess between the cerebral peduncles, which are located more laterally. And right over here is the oculomotor nerve right there. So that's the oculomotor nerve coming out from the interpeduncular fossa.